One of the reasons owners love their Rhydon so much is the intuitive design. Every component has a purpose and place which creates a very natural experience for the operator. All the controls used throughout the day are within easy reach. The throttle lever is operated using your right hand. It's easy to engage and hold, even for long periods of time, and the stainless steel cables are non-corrosive. The sprayer control lever is operated with your left hand. Squeezing opens the spray valve, and releasing the handle instantly shuts off the flow. Since the Triumph has two production speeds, each speed has its own set of two nozzles, one for broadcasting and one for trimming. Selector valves are located in the middle of the handlebar assembly. Simply point the appropriate valve to the desired spray width for the gear you're working in. When changing gears, move the current valve to the off position and open the alternate valve and set it to the desired spray width, broadcast, or trim. The spreader operating bar can be moved by either hand. Simply push it forward to open the hopper. The linkage to the hopper is made of a heavy-duty push-pull cable so it will remain open until you choose to close it by moving the operating bar back to the handlebar. Although the Triumph has good hillside capabilities, some may be too steep to comfortably ride. Another Permagreen exclusive allows you to drop the handle and walk simply by pulling the handle release lever. The controls remain at a comfortable level and are as easily accessible as they were when you were riding. This not only increases the grade of hill you can cover, but it gives you more control from the ground where it's safe. The tires are liquid filled for ballast and with the handle lowered and your feet on the ground, the machine's center of gravity is also lowered. To ride again, simply push the bar into its original position and it will automatically lock in place. Heavy machinery and zero turn drive systems tend to scuff turf, especially when it's wet. The Permagreen gives you the ability to walk behind the machine, reducing turf injury and soil compaction. Near the left handlebar is the gear shift that uses a heavy-duty push-pull cable to smoothly shift the transaxle. A kill switch is located on the top right of the handlebar assembly. Next to it, a tachometer displays the engine RPMs and the cumulative hours of engine use. A maintenance reminder flashes every 25 hours. The nearly one gallon fuel tank has a large accessible fill area and lets you do an average day's production without refilling. The Triumph features an all stainless steel sulky with patented articulated steering joints and comfort ride foot pads. So the operator has a non-slip and ergonomic ride all day long. The Triumph is amazingly maneuverable, capable of turning on a tight radius and flowing over rough ground with less jolting. This is thanks to the patented articulating steering joints that connect the front half to the sulky. Even though the Triumph is capable of turning on a tight radius, the tires will not make contact with each other even when the machine turns at its sharpest point. This is the reason why the Triumph doesn't have a seat. Although a seat may be nice on smooth, acre-sized football fields, the majority of lawns require you to be actively involved and a seat could inhibit you from shifting your weight or getting off the machine in a dangerous situation. Band brakes on the front and rear wheels are controlled by two levers on the handlebars. When both brakes are applied, the machine stops within the length of itself, which is 58 inches. And a Permagreen exclusive is our patented Smart Steer technology. When turning, the natural motion is to pull back on one handle on the side of the turn and push forward on the other like steering a bicycle. When you do this, Smart Steer automatically breaks the wheel on the inside of the turn while allowing the outside to maintain speed. The result is power steering, meaning your turn requires significantly less upper body strength. This makes operating with a full hopper and tanks easier on both flat ground and hillsides. There are no repetitive hand actions required. All you do is hold on. When riding, it's best to lean into the curves, lean forward when traveling uphill, and lean backward when traveling downhill. When moving across a hill, lean into the slope. This will give you the best balance. When possible, traverse across hills, working your way from the bottom up. Your Triumph is built tough, 
but setting aside 10 minutes at the end of each production day for a good washing of the hopper and machine, followed by a blow drying and light oiling of the moving parts, and a quick check of oil levels and machine calibration settings will go a long way toward keeping your investment in top shape for production. About once a week, throw a shot of grease to the two jack shaft bearings, three articulating joint bearings, and the two rear wheel bearings. Perform normal engine oil changes on time and check and replace normal consumable and wear and tear items as outlined in our maintenance checklist.